Hey guys, uh, we just added a database opt-in campaign uh, workflow to our snapshot. This is how it works and, and the uh, reasoning behind it. So I was told by one of our customers, they wanted to send out double opt-in blast to every single one of their lists uh, that they have. And to do that, what we did was we created a workflow without any trigger. Now, of course, you can add a trigger, to something like, you know, contact created or depending on whatever, or maybe a tag added, uh, whatever reason you want to add them in. In this particular scenario, they're going to be manually added in in a drip mode. So the entire list will be added in in a drip mode into this workflow, which is why a trigger is not necessary. So as always, we add a system added note. A system added note simply says an XYZ workflow has been started. In this case, data database opt-in campaign has started. And then it sends out a text blast. In this case, uh, you can change this copy to whatever you write, but we're saying XYZ business name, please reply yes to receive messages from us. We will never send you spam, reply out to opt out. All right, so now we're gonna wait 72 hours for a reply. And if the reply is yes to opt in, then we're gonna go ahead and tag them as an opt-in confirmed and send in an opt-in confirmation SMS saying, great, thank you for confirming. We will send you useful, valuable information. We'll never send you spam. So whatever, uh, again, this, this uh, copy here could also be adjusted to whatever you wanna say, uh, but we've just put in some sample information there. And if they reply with out, then we're gonna tag them as that they've opted out and also added a little note over here in the comment that says this is going to add them into workflow z015-2 which is one of our workflows that uh triggers when someone replies the with word out and it and, and the workflow triggers and it uh, sets them up as dnd and so on and so forth so that we're not messaging them if they've opted out if nothing happens within 72 hours then it's just going to go to none and stop the workflow if you wanted to you can you can still segment them here uh, you can add a tag saying opt-in not confirmed something like that so you you can differentiate between the people that opted in and are confirmed and the ones that opted out and then ones that are not confirmed if you if you wanted to do that um, so that that's an option there that's it very simple and very easy to uh, to use and then if they if they did opt in you can go ahead and add in any sort of trigger over here a tag like nurture or something like that so you can put them into any sort of database reactivation campaigns or nurture campaigns follow-up campaigns whatever it is that you want to you want to put them in my recommendation here would be uh, so in our case we have our a102 and a102-1 workflows which are sms and uh, email follow-up campaigns nurture campaigns on a weekly basis that's that's what i would add there if you wanted to put in a, some sort of a different sequence you're you're free to do that here just build it in a different workflow so it's not that way you can use this uh, workflow in multiple different ways and add people into different workflows as needed all right i hope you enjoyed this and let us know if there's any questions or concerns